Hi everyone, welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. My name is Gina Pike. I'm so happy that you're here today. Today we're going to be doing another episode of What Are You Knitting? I believe we're up to episode number 23. Today we're going to be talking about a finished project that I have and one project that is a work in progress. And then I'm going to be talking about some yarn that I recently got at, that I bought that um, is being added to my stash. So we're going to have a little bit of a mishmash. And uh, anyway, so happy you're here and you guys know what this means. When I do a What Are You Knitting video, I like to know, I share what I'm working on and I like to know what you guys are working on. So down in the comments below, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are working on currently. We love to hear, we love to share. And so um, please don't forget to do that. That's why I do these videos so that you guys will share with me. Um, I believe I don't have any pictures of any project that you got projects that you guys have sent me. Um, I also like to share pictures of projects that you guys are working on. So um, just a reminder, if you'd like me to share your projects um, here in these types of videos, send me an e a picture in my email to my email address, uh, knitbymoonbeams at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to share um, the projects that you're working on. Please be sure to include some type of little information about it you know the pattern the kind of yarn you're using why you might be making it that kind of thing so today I said I have a finished project to share with you you guys have seen this before in one of my other what are you knitting videos um, this is a baby blanket that I started a while back it's taking me a while to finish it because I keep putting it over to the side all right this is the uh, finished project I'm going to show you This is the Lacey Lucy Blanket Pattern by Myla Vayner. Um, it starts with a garter stitch edge, uh, 10 rows of garter stitch, and then you get into your pattern repeat. And this pattern repeat is a four row repeat. Basically, you repeat this over and over. You have a mock cable. Then you do like a feather and fan stitch. There is a stitch here where you do a knit four together. And then you do another knit four together which makes this really beautiful design at the end of your feather and fan. I don't know if you can see that up closer. Maybe if I get off of it, you can. I'm talking about this stitch here, this stitch here, this stitch here, this stitch here. I have a short tutorial video of how you can knit these four stitches together. I'll insert that here. When you are knitting something that has multiple stitches, three or more, this tip works really well. For um, knitting multiple stitches together it's lacy Lucy blanket and I want to show you guys what you need to do when you have a stitch like this where you're knitting four stitches together here's another one um, one thing I'm having to remind myself to do is that on the row before I knit these four stitches together which is a, which I'm about to do you want to knit this wrong side row extremely loose I don't know if you can see the stitches are not on my needle at all very tightly and I'm just going through it's a purl row and I'm knitting it extremely loose and you want to do that because putting your needle through four stitches at a time even three stitches if you were knitting three stitches together it might be hard to put your knitting needle through that so you want to knit these stitches very loose can you see how much room there is there alright so I'm gonna do these four stitches together Again, on the row before, you have to remind yourself, loosely knit that row. And then you can get your needle in to knit those four stitches together like that. And that's my one little tip for knitting this blanket, because you're going to be doing those four stitches together every four rows to create this design. So I like to do that, and you just have to be really aware of where you are in your pattern. This is a four-row repeat, so on the row before, 
you have to make sure you knit that row really loosely so that you can get, insert your knitting needle into those stitches and knit them together easily. Otherwise, it's a bit of a struggle and things can kind of get bunched up and you start having less and less room for your blanket to spread out and show your stitches. This uh, yarn is uh, Knit Picks Cot Linen Yarn, uh, which is a 70% cotton, a 30% linen, and this colorway is Flamingo. It's just a light pink yarn. I had this in my stash from a few years ago, and I used it, and it, this only used, this is a size 2 in the pattern, which is a 35 by 35, and I actually added two extra sections at the bottom to make it a little bit wider. Um, but uh, it only used uh, four skeins of yarn, four and a half skeins of yarn. So it didn't use hardly any yarn to make this beautiful blanket. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you guys of whip, a finished project, yay. The next thing I wanna show you is you guys know that I've been working on a crochet wear top wearable. Um, it's a top pattern by a Jeannie on the, from On The Hook Crochet. This is the One Cow Collab project that I'm working with um, Lorraine from Chatelaine Lane Makes and Barb from the Naughty Yarnies. Um, we have been start, we started this um, back in May, May 10th, and we are working our way through um, making this top. And um, I am on working on my back. This is what it looks like. This is the back. The bottom is flared a little bit because I did the uh, I did the that single uh, single crochet foundation um, row, and I used a hook bigger than the hook I'm using for this this top. This is my back, like I said. It's about 24 inches. I think I'm going to make it 28 inches long. I like my tops a little bit longer. This yarn is, it's True Boo from Lion Brand. This is a 100% rayon from Bamboo Yarn. And this is the colorway Thistle, which is a purpley blue, kind of like a periwinkle. And um, I, I'm going to finish up the back and I'm about to start on the front and on the front you have a scoop neck and then you just have some short sleeves I'm going to do some embellishments or I'm going to do some things to change up my pattern a little bit um, Doing the back all in double crochet. I'm kind of um, Want to jazz up the front a little bit. So if you'd like to see what I'm going to be doing with my top um, or uh, Lorraine has some interesting modifications on her top. She's already finished one top and she's starting her second top. And I know Barb is gonna be doing some interesting stuff with her top because she ran short of one of her yarns. So she's gonna be making some really cool um, changes to the pattern to make, mix it up and make it her own. We have about 30 people in our face. We have a Facebook group, it's called One Cow Collab. If you'd like to join us in making this top, there's still plenty of time. We're gonna be running this cow till the end of uh, July, July the 23rd is the last day that you can submit pictures to us and we'll be doing a final prize drawing on the 26th of July. We are drawing prizes every two weeks and so in every live there is a winner of a prize. So the next live is going to be June the 14th and it's going to be on my channel. It's going to be 1 p.m. Central Standard Time so if you can show up for the live that'd be great. Um, if you can't, watch the replay. We would love to have you participate with us in um, making a top for the summer. Again, that's One Cow Collab for the Facebook group. All the information will be in the description box below, or you can always email one of us if you need more details. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you for today, for this video, actually there's two things. I, I did forget that I do have one little thing to share from you guys I did get a lovely card from Stamper Wendy and she sent me this lovely card and I just wanted to say thank you Wendy and how much I appreciate you doing that that was very kind of you 
and also check her out her channel she, I think she does a lot of these cards um, she can sell stuff and sell stamps so just wanted to mention that and say thank you for the card I appreciate that um, but the last thing I want to mention is I have some beautiful yarn to show you guys and it's from my favorite uh, yarn dyer dye Diana dye I um, was uh, looking around on her yarns she has a yarn group in Ravelry and that and in that group she posts the uh, pictures of yarn that she's dyed and p that people have purchased and um, I was looking at some of the yarn in there and I saw some colorways that I didn't see on her website so I reached out to her and asked her about it and she said that she had to discontinue them but that she was looking to restart them because she had found a different supplier of the dye that she used for that yarn. So I was like, I want some. So I got some new yarn that she's going to be adding back to her website. And you guys ask, what color is it? And I'm dying to see it. So here we go. This is all 100% bam bamboo yarn because you know I like the bamboo color yarn base that she uses. But this is the first colorway. I don't know if you can see all these gorgeous green speckles in it. This is called, let me get it the right way, aquifer. And look at this yarn. Oh, so beautiful. And this is called aquifer, and it pairs really nicely with another yarn that she's adding back, this one. And this one's called River Deep. And that's the colorway, and you can see that these yarns go very well together. The green speckles in that aquifer go really nicely with the green of the yarn in the River Deep. So, isn't that beautiful? So I've got these, i got two skeins of the aquifer and two skeins of the River Deep. But I probably see myself pairing these together and having another pair. <laughs> And then the other yarn I got from Dye Diana Dye is something she has on her website, but that I've always wanted to get that I haven't is this two, two times R teal two, and I got two skeins of that. And look at this beautiful color teal color yarn. Ugh. I love how it's got some tones of shades of black or dark gray in there as well to give it some rich depth and color, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful yarn. So thank you, Diana, for my new yarn, and I hope uh, sharing that with you guys, you can see the beauty of her yarn, and that's kind of why I like to use her yarns for my shawls, because they have amazing sheen, they're soft, they're bamboo, which makes them lightweight, and they're just um, gorgeous colors. She's such a, a beautiful dyer, and uh, uh, makes it just so much fun to knit with, so... I just wanted to share those with you. Thank you for letting me share that. I think that's all I have for today's What Are You Knitting? Again, don't forget to put comments down below and tell me what you guys are working on. Um, if you are a new person here and this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, we would love to have you join our family if you are interested in watching videos about knitting and crochet and uh, sharing what you're working on. I share what I'm working on and I would love to hear what you guys are working on in return. If you are that type of person, we would love to have you join us. So please hit that subscribe button, join our family. We have some giveaways from time to time as well. We celebrate the milestones and I try to say thank you back to you guys for being here. So please join our family, let us get to know you, let us get to know what you're working on, what you like to work on, what are your favorite colors of yarn, what is your favorite yarn, things like that. Those are the th kinds of things we'd like to know about you and like to have you share with us and we share with you. Um, if you are someone who's been here forever, not forever, but this year that I've been doing this, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, you guys mean the world to me, and if it weren't for you, I would not be doing this. So thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I hope you all have a lovely day. Thank you for letting me share my knitting with you, and uh, I appreciate it. I will see you all very, very soon. Take care.